guys, welcome back to Sports Plus Passion. I'm your host, Bronna Marks, and I know it's been a long time, but I'm sure you've noticed there's a lot going on in the world, and I really wanted to come back to this platform and use it to express what I've personally been going through and hopefully be able to reach a larger audience. So I'm going to read a letter because writing is the way I express my emotions. I have a journal, I keep pens all over the house, pieces of paper, all of that stuff. I'm a writer at heart. So I really wanted to read this letter. Now this letter is actually very personal to me. It was written to a close family member of mine. And if you listen to it, then you'll definitely figure out who it was for first. But this letter was able to kind of start a discussion that can be very uncomfortable for a lot of people, especially families of biracial children, me. <laughs> so I reworked the letter to be able to reach more people and uh, I'm gonna read you that letter. If you haven't noticed, it's called Dear White America. And so here I go, I'm gonna read it guys, okay. <laughs> Dear White America, please keep an open mind while listening to this. And if you care for me simply as a human being, then you'll listen to all of it. I understand that the idea of Black Lives Matter may bother you. As the daughter of a white man in America who's had to fight for everything that he has today with little assistance from others, especially our own government. But mine and my father's American experiences are not even close to the same. And that goes for my brother as well. My father's also black son. My father and I have never had to have this kind of discussion because love has always led our relationship and I hope even now that love can continue to open his heart and his mind to what black people are experiencing in America and have experienced for the last 400 plus years. I've had a lot of biracial friends already lose uncles, aunts, and parents all because of their refusal to simply listen. But I hope that isn't the same for you. Your silence is painful. Seeing family members post to Facebook about arresting protesters and jumping to defend the police instead of acknowledging what struggles their own blood and flesh face. I've blocked traffic. I've walked miles to protest the social injustices of this country. And what about me and my brother? What happens to us? My brother is a black teenager and he could fall into any statistic. Just another George Floyd, arrested by a cop who sees his brown skin and automatically believes that he's a criminal. Yes, this happens to black men and black women every single day day in America. And many lose their lives on this earth or they lose their lives in the prison system. My father has been through the prison system. He has experienced hard financial losses and horrors that I'll probably never get to hear about. But let me make this very clear. None of those experiences are justified by the color of his skin. I on the other hand, have been followed in stores, had my car searched by cops, been laughed at for being biracial, had my hair touched or grabbed without permission, which I'm sure a lot of black women have experienced. And also, I've been denied jobs solely based on the color of my skin. I've been terrified of cops since I was a little kid because I know so many of them are either racist or bigots and full of hate. And our police system is based off slave patrol. That's a fact, you can look it up. Like I said, as the daughter of a white man in America, I understand that you and he may have a lot of displaced anger, but it's far past the time to start looking beyond your experiences and look at everybody else's. Our government is not set up for the poor, the uneducated, and definitely not 
for black people. It never has been. You may look at me and my brother as just American children, but the rest of the world sees us for black people. That's the honest truth. So I hope that you take the time to educate yourself, white America, because we need you in this fight with us. So yeah, <laughs> that's my letter to white America. There's so much that I could say more on this topic about what's been going on and what, what has been going on in our country for a long time. And I mean, if you just look at the leadership in our country right now, you can see how broken our system is and has been for a very, 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 very long time. So I encourage everybody here who's watching to do your research, to reach out, to get involved, to vote, to help somebody else get registered to vote. Just help each other because in the end, that's how we're going to become better as a society. And that's how we're going to fight this war against racism because it's not just us in America who face these issues solely based on culture, ethnicity, race, status, whatever you want to call it. It's not fair. Everybody deserves the right to follow their dreams and not be told that they can't just because of what they look like. So I really hope anybody who's watching this follows up and does something. Post in the comments if you know something that's going on, if you know there's a protest, a voter registration. Just help each other. That's what we're on this earth to do, to help each other. Me being in love with sports the way I am and not coming on this blog to talk about sports, but to talk about the real issues that we're facing as a country. And you can see that in athletes as well. Athletes are stepping up all over the globe, all over this country to stand up for what's right. And what's right is humanity and equality and peace and justice. That's all I got for you today, guys. Deuces.